That is an absolute giant diamond cape buffalo. Guaranteed diamond. He has the huge horns, and I've been looking for one of these things for so long. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Actually, today we're out here on Call of the Wild again. It's been a few days, but I thought we'd head back out here to Africa and do a little bit of searching around for maybe a diamond lion or, well, in this case, it looks like we found a diamond potential Cape Buffalo, although I'm not sure if he's going to be quite big enough. He does have the small horns on him, and every time I see a Cape Buffalo that has the, the small horns, I always think, Man, why couldn't he be just a little bit bigger? I mean, he still could be a diamond, and that's going to be a cool thing as well. But man, there are so many Cape Buffalo here. <laughs> if you don't know about this spot, you'll definitely have to check out my video called uh, The Best Spot for Diamond Potential Cape Buffalo. And that's where we're at right now. But I'm actually going to be going to a couple of different places as well. There is, I think, like 15 different Cape Buffalo right here right now. Yeah, I mean, look at them all in the back there. They're just stacked right up. There's so many here. Well, our main focus is going to be this down potential nine legendary in the front here. We are on a multiplayer server. So if you want to go to your map, you could do this just as good. But I definitely recommend trying this out on multiplayer because it seems like there's a really good chance you're going to find a diamond. And there is even more Cape Buffalo coming in. Look at them. They're just coming in by the herds. Wow. But this is our main focus here, a nine legendary diamond potential K Buffalo. He's about 60 yards out. So we're gonna draw back, make sure we know how far he is. Okay, so he's 60. Let off a little bit so we can catch our breath and then draw back again. Put it right on top of the heart. Look pretty good to me. So that should take him down. Right there. Nice. Well, here he is. Let's find out. I mean, he has potential to be a smaller diamond, but I just don't know. We'll pick him up. And he's a gold, 947. Looks like we got double lung stomach at 67 yards out. So a pretty far shot. Probably my farthest attempt at a diamond with the bow. Yeah, 60. I think my farthest diamond uh, Cape Buffalo with the bow, actually, is... 52 yards so that's almost 70 definitely a pretty good ways out there but yeah he didn't quite make it he, he needs to be 1970 pounds and he only weighed 1956 so let's try again and see if we can't find another one well would you look at that another nine legendary cape buffalo coming right our direction but the only problem right now is that the wind is blowing right directly towards him so what i'm about to do right now he should probably never try this but just because i know he's a small horn i don't really mind if we make a batch <laughs> there's no way i would try and take that kind of a shot with the um well if he was a big horn cape buffalo but anyways <laughs> let's just say i messed that one up so i'm not really worried about that so we're out here looking for another Diamond Potential Cape Buffalo and we didn't find that, but we found something pretty cool. That is a gold Gemsbach, or at least I'm pretty sure it's a gold. I've only gotten one, I've only seen one before. And this one is actually a four easy and it's a gold. So that means it could potentially be a gold gold. As you can see, we're pretty much just on the other side of where we were, where we got that uh, Diamond Potential Cape Buffalo. Now we're down on the bottom of this ridge here. There's always a ton of Gemsbach here, but I want to try and figure out a way to get in position. And I want to get to, I don't know, like 150 and try for a heart shot. What I do know though, is if you have the 30 odd six and you can take up to three shots on a Gemsbach and still get 100% integrity. That's also a really nice uh, female. There's a really big female four easy here down here too. But for right now, this is the one that we want a gold, Gold potential, Gemsbach. So we're gonna try and get in position to maybe like 160 and go for, I wanna try and get a perfect hard shot, but if we miss, we'll definitely be able to put a follow up in it and we'll still be able to get 100% integrity. And there he is right there. He's about 160 out. So all we have to do now, wait till he turns a little bit more broadside. Oh, hold on, slow down just a little bit. We also have a Cape Buffalo right here just spazzing out right below us, but this should work. It looked almost perfect, but just a little bit too high. 
hopefully that will help bring him down. So he's actually down right there with only two hits. The third shot was a little bit too far in front of him. He was actually already going down. But the problem is, how are we going to get down here with this Cape Buffalo running around, spazzing around in circles here? Well, it just so happens that we only have five more arrows left. So hopefully we can make at least one of them count. I mean, yeah, we could use a 30-odd six, but it's really not that easy to be able to take down a Cape Buffalo. Unless you get a running perfect brain shot, but I don't recommend it. Well, there it goes 0 for 1. And 0 for 2, so we only have three more arrows left. Oh boy, maybe I should go back to the range because this is not working out so good. One arrow left. Can we make it count? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Totally juked us. We're completely out arrows, but guess what? We do happen to have the 420s. So let's load those up and see if we can't take at least one solid hit. Wow, first shot was a success. I didn't know the 420s were so accurate. And second shot was even better. That's a vital hit. Okay. Third shot, I mean, I can't miss now. I don't know why I couldn't hit him with the 600s, but with the 420s, like, I can't miss. Every shot's 100%. It's gonna take a little bit longer to bring him down because these are only 420s, but can we actually get, okay. It's gotta be the arrows. That's what I'm gonna say. It's an excuse. It's it's the arrows. It's not me. But anyways, we'll pick them up and it's only showing three hits when I'm pretty sure I hit them a little bit more than that. But anyways, here lies our gold, gold potential, Gemsbach. What a beautiful creature. I mean, that is really, really cool looking. Like I said, I only have one of these. I've never seen another one. And I thought I saw one a couple times, but it wasn't actually one. So we ended up with a 94% on the quick kill. We did make a double lung shot, just a tad bit too high on that first shot. Look at that. I mean, it probably would have been a double lung heart shot if we were about an inch and a half lower. But even if we had 100% quick kill, I don't think that this would have been a gold gold anyways, because he just wasn't quite big enough. So I'm okay with that, 204 yards out, still gonna look incredible in our lodge. Let's get him mounted, and we'll get 1,327 cash. What a stunning looking creature. So after searching for, I don't know, probably like five or six different multiplayer maps, we ended up going back to our map, and we found this guy, a nine legendary diamond cape buffalo, or diamond potential cape buffalo. And of course he doesn't have the big horns either. I feel like all the big horn diamond cape buffaloes disappeared for some reason. I used to find all kinds of them, and in the last three days I've seen, I think, five different Nyan Legendary Cape Buffalo. And out of every single one of them, not one had the big horns. Oh, look at that, another one out there. That's actually a pretty decent size uh, seven as well. A nice red. I've always wanted to get a red, or what they call a brown Diamond Cape Buffalo. Now that, a diamond, uh, a brown Diamond Cape Buffalo, I would take that with the small horns. I mean, ideally it would be incredible to get the big horns, but I would definitely gladly accept a big brown, or what I call red, diamond cape buffalo. Got a female over there as well. But here's the thing about this spot, I've never actually been to this location before. It is 12.30 in the afternoon. We're right here down along the edge of this river bottom, and there's a hill. Well, I'll show you on the map right here. So right here is the Novella Mapfula, and we're just south of it. There's a kind of a question mark right here, but there's like a cliff that you can oversee this whole bottom. I mean, I can see all the way out to here to 412 yards out. The Cape Buffalo that we're looking at right now is 180, and these other ones are 319. But you can see, uh, I can't quite see that far, but I can pretty much see this whole entire bottom. And the way that I found this Cape Buffalo is I actually just spotted a couple of them out here feeding, and then I found this legendary bedded uh, about like 40 or 50 yards into this thick brush here. And once I spotted him, I saw nine legendary and I was like, oh my God, this is a chance. But he's not quite big enough. But I mean, he still could be a down potential Cape Buffalo. So I don't know. We'll try and get close to him. And if we don't actually get him right away, I'll check the track just to make sure that he's not going to be a diamond. If he is still going to be a diamond, we'll go after him. But if he's not quite big enough, then I guess we'll just let him be. 
Well, guys, I snuck up all the way to about 40 yards away from this thing, and he decides to bolt because another one smelled us. And then he started running. But guess what? I managed to pick up his track, and I found out that he's only going to weigh 1,956, which is not even close to big enough to be a diamond. So, it's really not worth it for, for, uh, for me to go after him with a bow. Because it takes so much time and effort to get set up, get close, get in proximity, and be able to draw back and take a nice shot. If he's not going to be big enough, it's just it's just not worth it. Well, five minutes after we just passed up that last time potential gate buffalo, we found this guy. That's a five medium gum spot. He is a male, so it's going to be a pretty rare chance that he might make diamond, but you never know. Not really the greatest angle. But I think we can maybe squeeze one in there somehow. That was money. Perfect shot and giant comes back down. I don't know how big he is, but we'll find out here in a second. Well, here he is. Let's find out how big he is. 324 and 918. He's a gold. So not quite big enough to be a diamond, but we made a 222 yard lower neck and right lung shot. Not bad though, I think we'll still get him mounted. Okay guys, now this part, you just aren't really gonna believe it. That is an absolute giant diamond cape buffalo. Guaranteed diamond. He has the huge horns, and I've been looking for one of these things for so long. If we happen to have a perfect win, this thing is walking 20 yards away from us. I cannot even believe it. Look at the size of that thing. Holy, he's gonna come right past us. So, we're actually zeroed in for 10 yards away. Which, oh my god. <laughs> he's 10 yards away. Oh, he is smoked. That thing is an absolute giant Cape Buffalo. And he's down. Right there. It just happened so fast. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what happens after we pick up this Cape Buffalo, but we just gotta get over here, take a picture of him and pick it up, but just, he's huge. I'm just gonna say that, he he's a giant. Look at the size of the horn on that thing. All right, let's pick him up. And he's going to score 995 with a trophy rating of 161. Looks like we drilled right through that front shoulder. Ended up getting double lung at 11.27 yards away. 11 yards away. And he ended up weighing 2,076 pounds. So I just barely got this thing's track. I only tracked him 158 yards. But I knew when I found that track, we found the jackpot. And we did indeed a 995. They really don't get too much bigger than that. At 11 yards away out of a tripod with the bow and he's a gray. Well guys, I honestly didn't think that that would happen. I had no clue that this Cape Buffalo was there. We were actually just over getting that gold Gemsbach and we just picked up the five medium uh, Gemsbach, which we made a pretty good shot as well. But I was thinking, you know what? I think we should probably check the top of the hill just to make sure that there might not be a giant Cape Buffalo somewhere up there. So I went up there, the Cape Buffalo were attacking us. I set up a tripod, took that one out and I heard one calling in the back, got a warning call. So I thought, let's just go over there just to see what happens, you know, just to check to see if there might've been a bigger one back there. 
and I pick up a track and it says 270 minimum on the weight. That is giant. 290, I believe, is as big as they get. So, I mean, I was literally about to end the game and I stepped on this track. I've been hunting for a long time to get one like this, especially since, oh, well, the last one that we got was probably like six months ago or so and can't actually see those ones anymore. So I am so fortunate that we can actually take a look at this one now. 900, well, let's take a look. 995 diamond Cape Buffalo. And he was less than 10 yards away. But it was an incredible hunt and it was well worth it. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope this helps you guys out. I hope you find some giant cape buffalo because of this video. And if you did, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I forgot to show you this guy. Our 918 5 medium gums buck. He wasn't quite big enough to be a diamond, but he was still a giant. Okay, now I can end it. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.